What's up guys, Modern Night Hobbies here. So today we're going to be going over the M5 stick with the Bruce firmware and how to connect to the actual M5 stick with the web UI. I saw that there were no tutorials about this, so I figured I'd take the opportunity. So first step, obviously, is to switch the M5 stick on. There we are, once you hear the two beeps, I'll switch on. And then you scroll through all your possibilities up to others, hit others. SD card, there's no SD card connected. WillowFS, that's your folder. Web UI, so web UI, my network. And bear in mind, my config file is set to my network. So it'll scan for networks, but it only has a password to my personal network. Here it is, CIA fan. Push the button, it'll connect. I was hoping that my meth head neighbors would move, but they haven't, so I just kept the CIA van for the Wi-Fi network. I do not work for the CIA. All right, so Bruce Web UI, IP address, user, and password. So you could do it by bruce.local or by the IP address. Moving on to my computer. I already have a preset. Here we go, Bruce firmware. So what you have from here are scripts and they are in Ducky the same way that they are in the Flipper Zero. This is why this is the Flipper Zero competitor. And you also have your Bruce config file. With your Bruce config file, you can set your home network and it will automatically connect to your home network. You can create folders. You can essentially do almost anything that you need to. Do bear in mind that the M2, because it runs on the ESP32 board, is a little bit more limited on memory, but that's basically it. That's essentially all you got. So that's all I got for today. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. I will be uploading how to get the uh, Bruce firmware onto my GitHub at some point. Thanks.